I know this isn't really a wristwatch oriented channel. I don't know a whole lot about wristwatches. It's still kind of an unfamiliar territory to me. But anyway, this is a cheap little AliExpress wristwatch. It's a fully mechanical chronograph, despite it being so cheap. Uh, I'm not sure what this says. I should probably just ask my friend, but uh, I figured it'd be funny to let you know that the U.S. education system stopped teaching me how to write and read cursive in the third grade, so I can't read this very well. Just thought it'd be funny to tell you uh, how the education system has failed me there. But anyway, uh, despite the problems of our education system, I just wanted to uh, show you this watch primarily. So there is actually a showcase, ca uh, well, uh, a window on the back of the watch so you can see the movement, which is always really nice. It's lots of fun. You can look inside and see everything moving. This is a... Uh, ST1901, which uh, the more authentic watches that you would get with this movement are the, it is the Seagull 1963. Uh, but also the movement is uh, basically the same. The clones seem to have really good quality because this... This uh, is a really good timekeeper, for me, at least. I don't know uh, anyone else's experience with the SC-1901 movements, but this has been incredibly reliable. But yeah, chronograph is a fancy word for stopwatch. Top button, you press it and it starts, you press it again and it stops. And I have it in this position because I want to show you this minute dial here. So when the stopwatch hand reaches the hour, when it completes one full revolution, the minute dial will snap forward a notch. Observe. There. Now it's one minute and two seconds. And then down here you hit this button and shoop, everything resets. It's going to hit the buttons from the back here, show you everything moving. I'm going to hit the buttons. Which is a lot of fun. And then uh, when you hit the reset button, oh come on, it's hard to do with one hand. I don't have a tripod, I really need to invest in a tripod. Boom, that little piece there moves really quickly. My friend gave this to me because they've been refining their tastes with rich, rich wrist watches. They've been defining their read. I'm so good at English. They have been refining their tastes and wristwatches. There's something to respect about really cheap watches like this that are fully mechanical and they work and they're super reliable. But also the uh, laborious craftsmanship that goes into the luxury brand of watches is something to admire as well. I really like both worlds. One more funny thing I thought I would mention. I used to say that I had small wrists, uh, but I used the second notch on the wristband, the second hole. And my friend, on the other hand, was using the very last one. So uh, when I said that I have small wrists, I was totally and utterly wrong. My friend has small wrists. I have average size wrists. So yeah, that's pretty much it though. That's all I wanted to show you. Okay, bye, bye, bye-bye.